8. How's your Sunday? Facebook, Mayling. Mayling is the woman who did my face. Facebook, listen, you guys. Me and Facebook are not friends. I literally, I, but I, I've been trying to still go live on Facebook, but I'm telling you, it just do not be my friend. So let's try this one more time. God bless you guys. Let me know where you're coming in from, and thank you, Periscope, for always being, for always being uh, patient with me, and always being. You guys, I don't have no problem with uh, Periscope, but it'd be a uh, Facebook. A little shady, isn't it? All right. Let's see. You guys can hear me? Okay, great. All right, great. All right, let's try this again, you guys. On my timeline. Let me just share this, you guys, so a few. God bless you from Virginia. God bless you. She said I came over. Rain, I'm playing your music. You guys, Rain is on. If you guys don't know, this is her first album, my favorite album. I don't know if you can see it, but it's called uh, Refresh. Listen, she is anointed. She got me through many days, and I said, I'm going to play her album on the end of this year. Okay, the last word of the Lord. So let me just share this to one more group, and then we're going to be ready to go. Please share, you guys, with your networks as you guys are coming on. That healing will take place uh, and deliverance will take place. Uh, manifest your power tonight, oh God. Send your fire. All right. All right, you guys. Okay, we're ready to go with the word of the Lord for December. The word of the Lord for December. And I believe God is about to do something phenomenal. The other day I got on the broadcast and I said, God is about to do a grand finale. Now, that's not the word, the only word that I have for this month, but I believe that something phenomenal is going to happen to you and your family and your household. And the word that the Lord began to speak to me is unique. It's different, uh, but I have been hearing it for a couple of months. But this month in general, um, like I told you guys, every time I hear a word of the Lord, it's kind of like the day before or a couple of weeks before things, it's a pattern. The word keeps popping up. And so a unique word popped up for me. Um, and so thank you guys so much, Facebook, for catching up. It's your friend, Dr. Alexis Live, coming in from Austin, Texas. Do me a favor and press that share button. Let's get as many people as we can on to talk about the word of the Lord for December. December, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And I believe that God brings, gives people the word, prophetic voices, the word, so that they can give it to you and help you and give you something to chew on for the next 30 days. Now, we know that God is going to do something um, crazy next year, but this is for the last 30 days. I believe that this word is going to speak to your spirit. Hallelujah. And so if you're ready, say ready. If you're ready, say ready. Thank you guys so much for sharing the broadcast once again. It's your friend, Dr. Alexis Live, coming in from Austin, Texas. If you're ready, say ready. Awesome, awesome. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, the Lord spoke to me, and he said that the word for December was boomerang. Boomerang. And let me tell you why it's boomerang. When I look at the definition of boomerang, that word literally means it's a it's a it was a it's a thrown tool that was found in Australia, some say made in Africa, that is a returns back to you what you throw out returns back to you. Some say it's a weapon, but it returns what you have thrown out directly comes back to you. It curves and it comes back to you to the, to the sender. Let me give you a better definition of that. It's literally some of the synonyms here. Well, let me go to this. I'm sorry, you guys. Some of the synonyms here for this, it says it returns back to the owner. And so when you look at this word, some of the synonyms are a rebound, a return, a reverse, a ricochet, a bounce back, come on, a comeback, a come home, a kickback, 
a boomerang, okay? So I said, okay, God, okay, so that's kind of interesting because that can go either way. That can go for the good and for the bad. It's a, it's a boomerang. It's a bounce. It's something that jumps back at you. It's something that recoils back at you. It's a snap back. It's a spring back. It's a, you got a little bounce in your step. It's a fly back. It's a, it's a glance back. It's a buck. Listen, this thing that's called a boomerang, it literally comes back to you. Also, it can be a reaction. It can be a, an acknowledgement. It can be an answer back. Some of you are about to get the answer back that you have been waiting on in the next 30 days. Hallelujah. It is one that it, it, can, it can affect you. It is literally a counteract. It is an echo. It is an echo. An echo. Hallelujah, an echo. When you say echo in the middle of a hollow room and all of a sudden you can hear it and it's like boom, 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 boom. That's a boomerang for you. Hallelujah. It is an operation. It is something that's going to be performed, proceeded. It is a rebound. It is a reciprocation. Hallelujah. What you put back out there is what you're about to get back. And of course, we know there's some scripture for that. And I'm going to get into the scripture in a minute. But I want to talk to you guys about the reaction, the boomerang effect that's about to happen in your life in the next 30 days. It is an answer, a back talk, a backfire, a backlash. It could be a, a comeback, a compensation. Some of you are about to get a compensation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It is feedback. It is a feeling. Hallelujah. It is a counterbalance. The scales are about to get balanced for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It is a reception, a reciprocation for you. That is what the Lord is saying for this month, the word that the Lord began to speak to me. He said, I am going to give them a boomerang. Thank you, Jesus. If you're feeling that word, you guys, please share on Facebook. Thank you guys so much for coming on on both platforms. I appreciate it. All 500 of you combined. Hallelujah. I believe the Lord is about to do something exceedingly and abundantly more than we can think or ask. Listen, we know that the word of God talks about what you, that you shall reap, what you sow. And many of you have sold so much this year. You've sold so much. It's almost like you're like, God, I can't sow no more. I've given, I've given of my heart. I've given of my emotions. I've given in my business. I've given in my wisdom. I've given. And the Lord said, okay, okay. I'm about to boomerang that thing back to you. Hallelujah. It's time for it to come back. Everything you put out there is going to come back. Hallelujah. And God saying nothing shall block it. Nothing shall stop it. Nothing shall be able to keep it away from you. Hallelujah. Many of you have done this thing and you, some of you have even forgotten about what you've thrown out. Some of you have literally forgotten about what you've thrown out there. But the Lord said, don't worry about it because he has not forgot. He said, I remember all things. I remember everything that you have done. Even before the foundation of the earth, it has already been, hallelujah, stated. It has already been predestined in heaven. The Lord said it is a principle. It is a principle. Listen, a boomerang is a biblical principle. Come on. Uh, Second Chronicles 15 and 7 says, but as for you, be strong and do not give up for your work will be rewarded, meaning it's going to come back to you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, John 14 and, 14 and 23 in IV, it says, if anyone loves me, my father will love them. For So for that love that you guys have been putting out there, the Lord said, I'm bringing the love back to you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Um, Proverbs 4 and 8, it says, As if you exalt wisdom, she will exalt you. That is a reciprocation. That is God's principle. Everything that you put out has to come back to you. That is law. That's God's law. Listen, and he don't go against his law. His word became flesh. That's a law. Hallelujah. So what word have you have spoken out of your mouth will boomerang? That's why I tell people to be very careful what they say out of their mouth. Hallelujah because God will remember it, but also not only God, but the molecules, the literal molecules in the sound realm will remember what you have said. That's why you look back at some things about four or five years later and say, God, how did this come back? I remember when I said this, listen, you guys, I'm still seeing things that I said when I was a kid come back. Why? Because that is the word of the Lord. What you speak shall be. Everything you put out there, it shall come back to you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Do not be disappointed. Deceived. God is not mocked. A, as a, a man reaps what he sows, it's the law of reciprocity. Come on. It's the law of reciprocity. 
Come on. And God will do it. And he's going to do it. A lot of you have been on my broadcast and you've walked with me in ministry and you've seen what God has done. Hallelujah. The things that he has done are phenomenal. And I'm excited to see just even things happen for you guys. Um, You know, uh, I'm excited to see. I'm making sure this Facebook is working. I'm excited to see everything, every testimony that we've gotten all over the world. People saying, Dr. Alexis, you said this and it happened. And really, it's not me who said it. It's the Holy Ghost. I just partner with him. It's not me because he speaks through me. And that's the problem when people are prophetic and they start tripping and they think, look what I said. No, look what God said. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And so I want to tell you guys um, how I knew that boomerang was going to happen. And it's once again, it's a return to the sender. Listen, what you have put out there is about to come back to you. Hallelujah. And so it, so I've seen literally uh, this month, as we're going into the beginning of the month, This today is the first or uh, the second. Well, yesterday I talked to a woman. Now, you guys remember the woman that I prophesied to and I said, the Lord said he's going to give you a government contract. And she said, yes, uh, uh, she, she believed the word of the Lord. Anyway, she got a government contract for $10 million. She was able to hire so many people that I know as well as I was able to help them get a position just because I put it on my Facebook. So I said, okay, praise God. So she contacted me and well, the Lord spoke to me and I said, I hear the Lord saying South that he's going to give you the Southern region. Now she said, okay, amen. So she received it. Well, they called her and said, we want to give you the Southern region. Okay. So this happened about three weeks after the Lord spoke it to me. And so, so this time she said, listen, I got to hire about a hundred and something more people. Would you mind helping me? I said, well, listen, she said, I'm going to, I'm going to hire a, or I might hire a um, staffing agency. And she said, well, uh, I said, well, listen, about a couple of years ago, I said that I was going to open up a staffing agency with my friend Monica. I just said it randomly. I wrote it down. I began to do the research for it. And so she said, really? And so she called me yesterday, said, listen, we have had to let go of our HR and we want to offer you to give you to, so that you can do our hiring as a staffing agency. Now, listen, this is something I said two to three years ago. So I said, wow, God. Like literally, I had forgotten I said it. I just remember I said it. So now she's like, listen, we had to let go of this person. Some of you guys, you guys waiting on a promise and somebody just needs to get put out. And God said, I'm going to put you in because there is a word mandated over your life. What you speak shall be. What you say reciprocity. It's coming. It's all coming back to you. Listen. Hallelujah. Not only that, I began to see she she even had a prophecy. This woman was prophesied that she was going to get married. She met her husband in October. She's getting married to, on Tuesday coming up. Now, that was a word that boomeranged back into her life. And she said, listen, I was um, she, she said the Lord told me to sow into marriages. So she sold into several marriages in my her single diaries. OK, that's a, a group I have online. So she sold into marriages and she said one day she was taking um, communion and the Lord spoke to her to sew uh, for a guy to get a ring for his, the girl he wanted to get engaged to. So she sold $3,000. Now I didn't know about this, but I heard the Lord say, I am going to quadruple what you sold onto your life concerning marriage. And so she just told me yesterday, she said, Dr. Alexis, what you said, the ring on my finger is $12,000. I sold $3,000. Listen, the word came back. Hallelujah. It received it's a reciprocity. What we spoke is what God said. It came back to her. It manifested. God will do exactly what he said, exceedingly and abundantly, more than you can think or ask. Hallelujah. And even when you think about the leather, the tool, the boomerang, that's leather. Come on, leather, the finest leather, that's durable. Hallelujah. That's something high class when you get to real leather, right? Some of you are waiting on a high class blessing. God said, that's coming back to you too. Hallelujah. And God said, I'll remember you just like I remembered Mordecai. It is a season that things are coming back. Uh, dreams are coming back. Come on. It's returned. Boomerang dreams. Boomerang visions. Boomerang money. Come on. Boomerang love. Boomerang family. Boomerang husband. Somebody 
somebody's husband. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord saying, somebody's husband, he's been out there. You've been waiting on him to come home. The Lord said, even before December the 25th, uh, I will cause him to be at your doorstep. Uh, hallelujah. Boomerang in the name of Jesus. Uh, I prophesy it. Hallelujah. Boomerang for whatever you need. I prophesy that God is going to begin to dig up, uh, dig up the past things. And I'm not talking about the past bad things. I'm talking about digging up things that you forgot you even prayed about. Listen, and you're going to see the manifestation of it even in the next 30 days. A woman of God contacted me the other day. And she said, Dr. Alexis, I have been waiting for almost 20 years for my benefits to get, for me to get um, 100% for, 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 with the VA, with the VA. She said, she was, she, she didn't get, they didn't give her no percentage. She said, well, as of today, they gave me 80%. She said, I believe in the word you spoke. I'm waiting on the other 20%. I said, amen. And so if you're listening to this woman of God, this is a boomerang season. But listen, you guys. Listen, this is not all good because the word of the Lord says, whatever pit was dug for me, you shall fall in it. And, you know, sometimes I used to hate reading over the Psalms, you know, when David said that. I said, well, why he got to be so mean? But listen, you got to live and not die. And some of you on your jobs, many pits have been being dug for you. And the Lord said, whoever has dug the pit, they shall fall in it. That's just the word of God. I can't make it up. I can't shake it up. I can't change it. But this is what God is saying. Hallelujah. For many of you who have been waiting, anticipating on something and I even hear a baby boomerang Woo! there is about to be a baby boomerang if that is you who is on this broadcast I want you to lay hands on your womb right now and I want you to decree and declare a baby boomerang because the father is about to cause your child to leap on the inside and if you know somebody who has been waiting on a child I want you to begin to decree that you stand in proxy for them it's a boomerang in their womb in the name of Jesus, I prophesy that everything that they need would come to them, hallelujah, that their body would begin to operate with the divine DNA from heaven, that they would be able to implant a seed in the name of Jesus, a baby boomerang, I prophesy. Listen, it's always seed time and harvest. See your time and harvest, guys. And we are in the harvest season. That means that boomerang is about to happen for you. Hallelujah. And for those of you who are just now joining, if you don't understand what the um what, what a boomerang means, this is even a chain and reaction. Hallelujah. A chain, everything is a chain and a reaction. One of the words there is it shall be affected. And it shall be effective. Come on. Hallelujah. That it shall be a reply. A reply is coming to you. Hallelujah. Even by the end of the week, Friday, I prophesy it. A reply is coming to you. It is time, hallelujah, for the rebound. It is time for this to recur. Hallelujah. Even a hallelujah, something that will work. Another word here for boomerang is work. And it's about to work. Hallelujah. Another word here is get back at it. Get listen, you're about to get back at it. An acknowledgement, an acknowledgement for everything that you have done. God said, I'm going to acknowledge every seed that you have sown. I'm about to acknowledge everything, hallelujah, that you have prayed for, hallelujah, that you have sat there and fasted for. I hear the Lord saying, I'm going to acknowledge it. Because why? Because it is a boomerang that's going to happen in your life. Hallelujah. And another word here is a feeling. You guys, you're going to get a feeling and you're going to say, I know. God, I know. See, some of you are saying, God, I know this is not it. Listen, uh, uh, it's been 11 months 
But God, I know this is not it because listen, I know what you said you was gonna do last year and you're not a God that you shall lie. That's why I told people the other day, I said, God is going to do a grand finale in your life. And for many of you who go, used to go on 4th of July and used to watch the firecrackers, you know the best time was during the grand finale. You was like, I'm not leaving until I see the grand finale. Hallelujah. Well, listen, that's part of your boomerang, a grand finale. And when it's going to pop, listen, because you know the last boom with the grand finale, it's like boom, right? It'll shock you. You're like, wow, that's amazing. You're going to stand there in amazement at what God is going to do in your life. This is a boomerang season, and the grand finale is part of that boom. Do you hear me? Hallelujah. And so don't give up on God because he ain't giving up on you like the song says. Whatever God has said he was going to do, I'm telling you, either he's a God, either he's, either he's God or he isn't. Listen, every year I say, God, now hold up now 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 hold on lord if it's your if it's your will then it's your bill meaning you're gonna have to pay for it because if you said it you're not a god that you shall lie every year i do not give up some of y'all have already given up and we got 30 days left you like how can god do it listen let me be real transparent with y'all let me be 100 percent with you guys so I got married. It was prophetic. I'm like, praise God. He's done it. Hallelujah. He didn't did the great things. But then we started kind of dealing with, um, you know, kind of where my husband, he was making kind of, you know, he wasn't making as much as he could. And so I'm like, God, what's going on? And so we kind of was kind of being kind of, you know, it, it gets hard. Your faith starts like, wait, wait a minute, God, we had all these prophecies before we got married. And so do you guys remember me telling you about the woman, Heather, who I prophesied to about ten, that she would get a government contract? So she got the government contract, was able to hire several people. But she was praying one day, and I even told her, I said, well, you know, I told my husband, he said, well, can I apply? I said, no, nah, don't apply, because, you know, I don't want to take advantage of relationships. And so she called me one day, and she said, the Lord told me to hire your husband at $40 an hour. Now, I'm looking around like, okay, um, that's a lot of money. Like, you know, that's good for him because he, he came out of football. So he was starting all over. But literally, for a relationship that I had for three years, and I didn't even know that this was part of God's plan, this was literally last month that there was a boomerang. Listen, literally, a word that was spoken over our lives that God was going to do it. And now it put us in a total different position overnight. Overnight, see, I was doing well, but it's kind of like you want your husband, right? I'm like, God, if I prosper, he gonna prosper. We both gonna prosper. So overnight, y'all, y'all tripping about thirty days. What can God do in thirty seconds? He said, I'm going to speak to somebody. Somebody got what you need in their hands. I'm going to speak to them, and they're going to follow my command. And even before we get off of here, I'm going to begin to pray and call out your name. Listen, I know a God. I know a God, and I ain't giving up on him yet. Just like when I was waiting to get married, I said, now, hold on, God. You said, and I don't got time for this. Now, if you said it, that's it. I don't want to hear another prophetic word again unless it's going to happen. That's where I was at with God. I'm, I'm being for real. Have you ever been in that place? You're like, I don't want to hear it. And just in the nick of time, hallelujah, just, just in the nick of time, before I thought, God, I'm going to lose my mind. I can't be single. I, I just, I wasn't built to be single. This is not my calling. This is not my, it, it can't be. But just in the nick of time, now, I hear the Lord saying, just in the nick of time for many of you who are on this broadcast, I'm about to make you say, wow, come on, walking on water. That's a miracle stance. Some of you guys need to get your miracle stance up. You need to get your miracle stance up. What does that mean? That means that I'm going to look to the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. That means I'm going to continue to always believe and trust in him. That means when I know that I may not have the faith, I'm going to say, Father, now listen, 
Joseph said to bury his bones wherever the promise was. Lord, I'm believing, hallelujah, that whatever you said, these dry bones are going to live again. Hallelujah, Father, they're going to come up and become a body. I believe that they're going to walk whatever the word is. The dry bones are about to walk on water and they're going to get revived there. I believe it in the name of Jesus. Listen. In the name of Jesus, either you believe God or you don't. I tell people, whatever you don't believe God can do, if you don't believe he can do it, y'all, then go ahead. If you don't think that he can do it, then throw away the whole word. They ain't going to throw away the word, right? They ain't going to throw away the word. I said, if you don't believe it, either he is God or he ain't. The problem is many of us try to be God. We try to be God. But we are not God. He is God. Only he is holy. Only he is worthy. Only him. And so you need to take yourself out of it. Take yourself out of it and say, God, I let it go. Come on, what's the old song say? I surrender all, all to you. Come on. I surrender everything unto you, God, even this next 30 days. My mentor, Ruth, she used to tell me, Alexis, put it on the altar. I was crying, God, you said, no, no, no. He said, put it on the altar. Whatever promise you've been waiting on, you better lay it down tonight. Lay it down on the 2nd, tonight, December 2nd. And I'm going to tell you, there is a Lazarus, come on, there is a Lazarus blessing about to happen for you. If you lay it down and let it die, listen, let it die. God said, it's about to resurrect. I prophesy it's going to resurrect that thing that you've been waiting on because that boomerang word, hallelujah, is coming back to you. Hallelujah. Let's get some um, Bible verses because there are some Bible verses even connected to this. Even the word here, a return. Hallelujah. It's going to return back to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is going to restore you to health and heal your wounds. Hallelujah. He's going to cause you to get everything that he has called in your life. Thank you, Jesus. And many of you remember the scripture that says, but first seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Many of you have sought the father. You have sought him. You continue to pray. You have labored in prayer. You have labored in worship. You have labored. And so after you do done all you can, I'm going to stand. I'm going to stand on his word. I'm going to stand on his promises. I'm going to stand and I'm going to say, Father, you are not a God that you shall lie, nor the son of man that you shall repent. Father, hallelujah, you will return to us everything. Why? Because your word will not return. Come on, boomerang. What does the word say? Your word will not return. Y'all know how that boomerang goes. Back to you, void. Hmm. I felt a wind on that. His word will not return, and a boomerang is a return back to him, boy, empty. Come on, empty. Hallelujah. And so I want you guys tonight to get it in your spirit, and I don't know what you're about to lay down right now, Hallelujah. For the next 10 minutes as we begin to pray, I don't know what you're going to lay down, but I want you to, even if you have to write it on paper right now, let's say, you know, you guys know I love to do prophetic acts. Let's say you have to write it on paper right now and you're going to write it, fold it, just say, okay, God, and, and make your, make it an altar right where you are. Make it an altar right where you are and lay it down and i believe hallelujah come on whatever you have sowed a seed must die to spring up come on it must die to spring up and even in the next 30 days i'm gonna be getting testimonies because i'm telling you some of you have forgotten and even given up 
because you said, I forget, forget that word. I don't care about that word no more. And even there has become a little anger at God. A little jealousy at your friends for what's happening for them. God said, if you knew what I was about to do for you, you know, the Lord really began to show me, stop being, looking at what is going on in their house because you don't really know what's going on over there. People be fake happy, but not really happy. You want exceedingly abundantly. You want the joy of the Lord to be your strength. Don't look over at what somebody else is doing and say, you know what, God, God, you know, why, why not me? God said, I'm going to do it for you. I'm going to do it for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. So even as some of you guys are on, hallelujah, if you feel this word, and we're about to pray, but if you feel this word, say me. If this word is for you, say me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And we're going to begin to pray and believe God for something supernatural to happen in your life. Uh, hallelujah. We're going to believe God that he is going to remember the promises that he said. He's going to remember it. Hallelujah. He's going to remember it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to begin to make some declarations. Thank you, Lord. And so this song is an, called The Altar. And I want you guys to make an altar right where you are. Right where you are. So you see higher. And we're gonna believe God that as you're laying it down, whatever you sow, and you're sowing God tonight, I'm sowing my dream. Tonight I, I'm sowing my dream to you. I'm sowing it, Lord. Come on. So here's his heart. Come on. And I believe. It's going to spring up. Come on, I believe. Whatever you have sown, you're going to be bruised. It's scarred. I'm going to sow my dream to you, God. Come on. Still Come on. This altar. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. Father, consume me. Come, Come on. Move me. Breathe life into me. Here on this altar, Father, consume me. You can move. Come on, me. breathe life into me. You're gonna lay it down. Here on this altar, You're gonna lay it down. Father, consume me. Woo. You can Whatever it is, y'all. Whatever you've been hoping for, say, God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sow my dream tonight. Hallelujah. You can he can he use you? Can he use you? Yes. So here are these hands. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Lord. They haven't done so Thank you, Jesus. So we're just getting ourselves ready, you guys. An encounter with the Lord. But you were there. Sometimes you guys come on here and people begin to pray, but you don't know how to sit Even before the Lord. My bed Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So here's my life. Here's my life. Thank you, Lord. I give it all to you. Here's my life. I give it to you, Jesus. Consuming, Consuming fire. fire. Thank you, Jesus. Consuming fire. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Come on. Oh, Father, consume me. You can use me. Breathe life into me. Here on this altar, Father, consume me. You can use me, breathe life into me. Yes, here on this song, lay it down. To Father, consume me. Yes, you can use thank you, Jesus. Me. Breathe life into me. Here on this altar, Father, consume me. Yes. 
Breathe life into me. Hear all this song. Father, Father you. Say it to him. You can use me. Come on. Breathe life into me. Here on this altar, on this altar, I lay down my dream. I lay it down tonight, God. It's yours. You can have it. You gave it to me, and you can have it. Come on. Listen, there was a Savior who gave his life for us. And that was his dream. This dream, whatever God. If you do it or not, but I believe that this seed, you're going to do something phenomenal on this altar. Come on. Yes. Come on, y'all. Worship. Lay it down. December. Come on. This is 30 days left. I lay it down, God. Lord, use. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we're going to thank you, Lord. Give me a couple of minutes. We're going to begin to pray for each of you or at least speak. A corporate word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Here on this altar. Tonight, this is an altar. Here I am. You're saying, Here I am, God. Here I am. Here on this altar. Agenda. I lay it down tonight. My mind needs to be regulated. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Some of you can just be before the Lord. Just, just sit before Him. Get on your knees, some of you. Release it unto God what you want Him to do in the next 30 days. Listen, you got to continue to do this in your life. Yes. Here on this song. Here on this song. Here on this song. Here on this song. The psalmist rain. Psalmist rain. R A I N E. Psalmist rain. Her whole CD. I'll tell you, get some prophetic instructions. Listen to this whole CD. All 700 of you, 420 on Facebook, 244 on Periscope. Listen, listen to this CD. Download this CD. This is a, listen, the power of God. Let it play for the whole month. Let it play for the whole month. Okay? Hallelujah. Right on this altar. We give it back to you, Lord. Everything that we want, we give it back to you. The song is called The Altar, you guys. We're laying it down tonight. To find a space for Hallelujah. So I'm going to just say a few uh, declarations, you guys, as we're doing this prophetic act. Thank you, Lord. A prophetic act of laying it down and you know when you lay something down it is a surrenderance in your heart and actually the next song on here is called I surrender and it is and, and literally although we know that the word is boomerang we still are saying God we want to lay down on the altar every dream we have we want to give it back to you because when we become hoarders of God promises listen some people become hoarders of God's promises no 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 that's greed we gotta say, God, I know you said it, but you know what? I, I'm gonna serve you either way. But tonight, I wanna lay down my husband, my family. I wanna lay down my job, my business. I wanna lay down everything, anything, any word that you guys have given up on. I want you to lay it down before the Father. 
Come on. Hallelujah. Lay it down before the Father. Thank you, Jesus. And we are believing God that his word will not return back to you void, but still you want to lay it down. Thank you, Lord. And it is an act of faith tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, if you believe that this is the word of the Lord, and, and I still I want to do these declarations before we get off, but if you believe that this is the word of the Lord for your life, I want you to sow into it. I want you to partner with the prophetic word and you can partner at Dr. Alexis Live or via Cash App. And those of you who know my information, can you please put it in there? If this has ministered to you, if this has ministered to you and you believe that this is the word of the Lord and this is not nothing you have to do. But if you believe that this is the word of the Lord for you before the end of the year, I want you, you definitely, we, we, we learn that we continue to sow. So we're sowing our faith, but I also want you to sow into the vision and also sow into the word and partner. I say partner with the prophetic word. And so you can go to DrAlexisLive.com or you can go to, um, what is the other, or, 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 or my cash app. And somebody can put that up, but I do want to. Thank you, Lord. A woman asked me the other day, one of my mentees in Atlanta, she said, how come you don't spend a lot of time like everyone else on the sewing part? Like people need to sew into your ministry. You come on here every month. I said, girl, because God always going to take care of me. He always going to take care of me. And I know that there's so many people who manipulate people on, on social media. And so I don't want to, I'm like, that's not me. God's going to take care of me. So if you feel this word and you know and you got something tonight, even before we do the declarations, I want you to partner, partner. So that's it, Dr. Alexis Alive. And we're about to do some, uh, and I'm gonna put in my cash app right now on, on social, on what's it called, it's Dr. Alexis Mastin, okay? Cash app. So now we're going to, I'm gonna do these uh, personal declarations before we get off. For you. Thank you, Lord. This is a song called Surrender. Any more that God, all now. through, so you can repeat after me, or you can all just right, um, repeat after me, or you can just um, receive it. I'm going to say some declarations, some prophetic de declarations over your life. Hallelujah. Lord, all through December 2018 and beyond, I shall not suffer any more setback in my life. Hallelujah. I shall, Lord, I thank you that you, that you, Lord, hallelujah, I will, I will continue to experience the hand of the Lord with speed in every area of my life. I shall no more be a subject of pity among men, but all men, hallelujah, shall see your hand upon me. Thank you, Lord. This will be a month of joy unspeakable and full glory for me. This will be a month that God is turning my mourning into dancing. Hallelujah. Lord, whatever has been kept at me, for me at the beautiful gates, I will find. Lord, I shall not have any reason to cast my head down this month. Hallelujah. God is turning me into the head and not the tail this month. Thank you, Lord. Every concern of my life shall be turned into a new dawn order of testimonies this month. Hallelujah. All through this month, my path shall continue to shine more and more in areas of my life. Hallelujah. All through the month of De December, you shall deliver good fruits to me. Hallelujah. Things that I have been waiting on shall be delivered to me. There shall be a full delivery of my prophetic package with seat with speed. Jeremiah 1, 11 and 12. Come on. I shall continue to worship you and praise you this month. Nothing shall hinder my worship this month. And there will be renewal in my body this month, Lord. Hallelujah. There will be a dawn of the new day. Every supernatural conception and delivery will come to me. Angelic host, I will experience 
this month. Lord, I thank you, hallelujah, that my resources will be bountiful this month, that I will be in good health, hallelujah, this month. Father, I thank you that I will be walking into a wealthy place this month, Holy Ghost, that the windows of heaven shall be opened over my life, hallelujah, and every mystery concerning me. God, I thank you that you will begin to reveal mysteries this month. Lord, I thank you that I shall continue to experience your glory this month. Father, I pray against every breakdown, hallelujah, of peace in my family, that we shall have peace and abundance this month. Let this be the best Christmas, the best holiday for my family this month. Lord, I decree and declare that everything that is coming to me, Father, everything that is held up, I pray, Lord, that you begin to boomerang it back in my life. I thank you, Father, that people are hearing the word of the Lord even tonight concerning me, and they will call me tomorrow and say, I have to do this. Father, I thank you that people on this broadcast will begin to feel your power even the more, that things that they have been waiting on and doors that they have been waiting on, hallelujah, will begin to come open. Father, I decree and declare that everything that they have been going through, Lord, I thank you that it shall cease. Any any unrest, hallelujah, shall cease in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that you're delivering packages. You're delivering mail. You're delivering things that they need. Lord, I pray all everyone who's in jail, imprisoned, even in their own lives, but also sons and daughters who are in prison. Father, I thank you that they too, it, just like boomerang means return, let them return home in the name of Jesus. So Lord, I pray that you begin to teach us, show us the way that you want us to go and let us not go to the left or to the right without hearing from your voice. Oh God, I thank you. Hallelujah. That we shall continue to experience your word. Hallelujah. And I thank you with without grief and without sorrow. The Bible says the blessings shall come without grief and without sorrow. Thank you, Lord. So I pray against the sorrow and the depression that tries to come around the holidays. I pray against the depression that tries to come around the holidays. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Father, I thank you. I want, I'm asking you for encounters for everyone on this broadcast encounters let them encounter your spirit let them encounter your word even right now in the name of jesus victory a boomerang of victories i thank you for the victory hallelujah the victory the victory the victory Victory, say victory, guys. The victory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for victory. Hallelujah. We thank you for victory. I'm believing you're victorious in every situation. Come on. Hallelujah. We thank him. Come on. Yes, we thank him for your destiny. He is a destiny maker. We decree the destiny of the Lord. It cannot fail. It shall prevail. Come on. Hallelujah. We surrender and we thank him for what he's going to do. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I want you guys to begin to just say your name and I want to partner with your name. I just want to say it. Hallelujah. I just want to say it even in this last 30 days. Hallelujah. Boomerang for Shirley. Boomerang for Ava. Boomerang for Bika. Boomerang for Tania. Boomerang. Hallelujah. For Jolanda. Boomerang for Tawanda. 
Boomerang for Marsha, Boomerang for Sharon and Erica and Anna Marie and Misty and Tasha, a boomerang effect, oh God, for Shay and Iona and Tedra and Barbara, a boomerang for Mia, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, a boomerang in their life, a return for everything they need, for Sharmika, I prophesy, and hallelujah, open doors for Sharia, Christine and Brandy and Robin and Karen, a boomerang in their life, oh God, a victory, come on, for Deborah, Q Jackson, Boomerang, Landy, Sharice, Jawanda, Fumis, Brianna, a Boomerang, God, hallelujah, hallelujah, return to them what's theirs, you said, I return to sender, every prayer that they pray, come on, Fran, Jaquise, Tarnisha, Francesca, Crystal, Ross, Shekinah, Yvette, Siobhan, hallelujah, Torella City, come on, Michelle, Linda, Denise, a boomerang for Shatara, a boomerang for Dana, come on, say your name, Siobhan, Ayla, come on, Kalia, hallelujah, say your children's name, Jacqueline, Reba Sata, Quentin, Lewis, in the name of Jesus, Colin, come on, Sharon, boomerang over your life, every prayer, everything that you have said, even the thing you have laid down tonight, I pray that seed is about to pop back up, Monica, Valerie, come on, Reba Santa, Keisha, Renetta, in the name of Jesus, come on, Tina, Cindy, Carla, Shakita, Christy, Alexandra, Pal Pamela, boomerang in your life, life, a boomerang in your marriage, come on, boomerang, in your mind, come on, let you be as, as young as you once was, I pray that be a boomerang in your youth, come on, that your youth, that you feel the youth again, come on, Hello, Toreba Siki, Ramon and Christine, Don and Marcus, come on, I prophesy, hallelujah, that this is your boomerang, ma. Come on, Maximus, Jason, hallelujah, Luana, hallelujah, come on, hallelujah, come on, God's about to do it, Darnett, God's about to do it, hallelujah, Rhonda, court case dismissed in the name of Jesus, and Lord say, hallelujah, boomerang, Tiffany, come on, Marquita, God said, I'm going to do it, Hallelujah. He said complete clearance. Complete clearance. Come on, Colin and Gabby and Cameron. Cameron, Frida, Jalen. Hallelujah. The Henry, Jeremiah. Come on, if you're not saying your name, please say it so I can say it before we got the broadcast. Zaniah, Caprice, and Alexis, Harry. Facebook, you know it's a little delay, but I'm trying to catch up with the name. Come on. Shamika Reese. Hallelujah. Her Boomerang for your husbands. Those of you who've been praying for husbands, boomerang on that prayer. Let it come back to you. It's all coming back. It's all coming back. Hallelujah. Lemetria, this is your boomerang month for the whole month. Make sure you're saying that you guys, words create worlds. They're powerful. And 700 people are praying. 700 people right now, you got Facebook and Periscope, are praying for your boomerang. Thank you so much. Thelma, Kelvin, your court case. Listen, they're praying. We're praying. This is unified prayer. You know, you know what happens in unified prayer? That's a sonic boom. Oh, that, that, that's, what, that's a sonic boom. Boom. Listen. <coughs> a sonic boom causes some to not be able to hear. Listen. Let he who has a he ear hear what God is saying to the church. But let he who does it, let that sonic boom cause him to be deaf and not to be able to hear what God is saying. In other words, in the spiritual realm, not in the physical realm. I don't want people to become deaf in the physical realm. What I'm saying is let us be able to hear what you're saying, God. But for those who don't believe this, we'll turn off their ear. Because this is God's word. Come on, Naomi's family, Olivia and Joseph. And even if I don't say your name right now, you guys... Know that I go back sometimes. I read the I read the the the, um, the the comments. So I'm gonna be praying and laying hands over this. You guys, I don't come on here prideful. I don't come on here saying, "Oh, I did this, I did that." I really come on here with a heart to say, "God, let this happen for your people." 
Let them experience you. Come on. Let them experience you, Pam's grandkids, Deborah and Sherry. Let them encounter you, Tyra and Ma Malachi. Let them encounter your spirit on this month. Listen, some of you haven't even had the dream of the Lord. Some of you haven't even had an encounter with the Lord. Let the encounter of the Lord come into your life this month. This is your boomerang month. Things you prayed, you forgot you prayed about. It. You forgot. It's coming back. I hope you're ready to catch it. Because the word says a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive. To my room, the Steed family, come on. A blessing that you won't have room enough to receive. Come on. That's the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. What he says shall be. He is not a God that he shall lie. Nor the son of man that he shall repent. His word shall not return back to him. Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're still listening to Psalmist Rain. He is a mighty surrendering. God. We're surrendering unto God. The everlasting Father. Come on, everything. This is your time of worship. This is your time to meet him. Come on. You are the Prince of Peace. If you haven't shared this broadcast, can you share it for me? I am. Thank you, so Lord. I, I, Hallelujah. A sonic boom over your life. A sonic boom over your life. And even the people who are pressing are mean faces, a sonic peace. boom over your life. A boomerang over your the life, too. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So I, Thank you, Lord. Boomerang to your whole household. Allow you to be who you are. I don't know if you guys know about this CD. Once again, it's Psalmist Rain. That's with a P S. A L M I S T Psalmist Rain R A I N E. All to Jesus. Look for it on I iTunes or Amazon it. and play it this month. You guys begin to be before the Father and really just laying down. Even tonight before you go to bed, All if you can make sure you're laying down what it is that you want, really let so your dream tonight. I let that be a scene. So your dream tonight. And watch what God will do for you. I will watch what He will do for you. Learn to trust Him. Yeah. Come on, Jonathan and Cammy, Lisa, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And in his I feel like saying, you know, in church they say, well, if you want to be dismissed, you can be dismissed. But for those of us who are super hungry before the Lord, we're just gonna continue to worship Him. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Make sure you guys, if you want to partner financially with the ministry, Dr. Alexis Live or in my catch app, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your season and everything that you guys have done for me this year. I appreciate it. The risen king, the sacrificial Oh, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You are wonderful. Counselor, if you can't think of anything, God, I just want you to ask God, show me Father. what you want me to give up tonight. Show me what you want me to sow. And I'm not talking about the finances right now. I'm talking about the dream. Something you've been holding on to. Thank you, Lord. Robert, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I feel like we're at church, you know, when they just continue to worship God. <laughs> and you just stay in the presence of the Lord. Dr. Alexis live and I thank you guys so much for joining the broadcast 
Don't forget you can order uh, uh, Activate Seer as a prophetic prayer that you can use if you haven't been having dreams and visions uh, for business activations, if you're a prophet, prophetic voice, prophetic activations for your ministry, single women, your yearly activations, even though this was for 2018, you can still listen to this. Um, also, don't forget uh, Simply Prophetic, uh, the book. It's all on Dr. Alexa's Live, a book about being prophetic and how to hear and see and to sense God, the presence of God. If you need a simple guide, you know, a lot of people like to be super deep, but in here I'm telling you about dreams and visions and the way that you can hear God and that you can hear God on your own. Hallelujah. Amazing, amazing uh, book that the Lord allowed me to write. Last but certainly not least is my children's book, I Can Be, that is uh, it's for um, K from second grade. It's also on Dr. Alexis Live, and it's about what you can be when you grow up. Look at the pictures, you guys. Phenomenal pictures. And it's also on Dr. Alexis Live, and it's um, I wrote it, and somebody else illustrated it, but it's on Dr. Alexis Live. And so this would make a great Christmas book for your kiddo if you have one. Uh, make sure to order this. It's only, I think, $11, $11, $11 or $11.99 or something like that on um. You can order you can order it on DrAlexisLive.com, DrAlexisLive.com. And also, if you want to sow into the ministry, uh, it is um, Cash App, uh, Dr. Alexis Mastin, M-A-S-T-O-N, or you can sow at, um, or you can sew at um, Dr. Alexis Live. Also, you guys, don't forget about all things her in Dallas, Texas is going to be phenomenal. We already got almost 100 people registered um, for uh, Dallas, and we're looking for 200, uh, 250 to meet us in Dallas, Texas, March 21st through the 23rd. If you're looking, if you're trying to be an influencer or kingdom business person, you need some strategy and wisdom that's from the Lord and that's not manipulative because a lot of people say things that are using, uh, you know, the worldly way, but we're talking about supernatural, uh, divine strategies to launch your business and e-commerce or to launch your writing or whatever it is that you need. This event is for you. We will have influencers there. It's going to be off the chain. And so it's for women. It's called All Things Her. And it will be, and you can also, um, oh, you can go to allthingsher.com and find out information for that. All Things Hers, H E R S, um, and find out information for that. Let me type that in as well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, but yes, you guys, all of you who are on, if this blessed you, if this really blessed you, make sure to partner uh, with the ministry. And um, I believe God's going to do something exceedingly and abundantly more than you can think or ask. Be sure to inbox me all your testimonies. I would love to share them with my audience. And uh, you can find me on Facebook at Dr. Alexis or at Alexis Mastin McClinton. I love you guys and have a blessed month. God's about to do it. Once again, if this blessed you, say me. If this blessed you, say me. Hallelujah. If this blessed you, say me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And if you, me, I see you guys. Thank you so much. Everybody who's saying me, that this blessed them. That's a thank you guys so much for being a part of the broadcast. Hallelujah. And so, and thank you so much, you guys. Thank you for partnering with the ministry financially, as well as just staying on. And, and watching the broadcast. I love you guys dearly. God bless you. And thank you to YouTube family who's always later. I love you guys. God bless you. Bye now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.